Hello guys and welcome back to the Poketorio channel. As you can see, I'm joined by Ben. Hi guys. And when we're joined by Ben, that means one thing and one thing only. On another UK grading company. Another one. So, I believe Ben stumbled across these and a few of the uh, guys in the uh, Discord channel sent us this across. So we thought, we've done this so many times now, we can't stop now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to their site in a second. We're going to look through it, look through the grading system, the, the labels, the slabs. We're going to be sending off a card each. Um, and then having a, a little discussion about what we think to this company. So, if you do enjoy these sort of videos, remember to subscribe to the channel with the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our uploads. And, as I said, we do have a Discord channel. If you want to come join us in there, have a, a chat with everyone, then feel free. The link will be down in the description. So, let's get into it. So, the company that we're going to be looking at today is called Tree Frog Grading. Now, I know the name's a bit out there, um, and I did actually message him and was like, what is the inspiration behind the name? But we will get into that. So, first of all, let me get the script, the website up and running. Um, we'll drop into it, take a look at everything, and yeah, let's get some cards sent off. So this is tree frog grading. Like I said, I stumbled across these on Instagram about five o'clock in the morning on Thursday, um, which is yesterday when we were recording this video. And then some other people popped in the Discord a bit later on. And I didn't, I didn't know anything about this company. Hadn't saw anything about them before. And they've been launched a couple of weeks, I believe. Um, so again, I'll say this, like I said, about UCG. I think it was where, you know, the marketing could be a little bit better, get the name out there a little bit more. Um, Cause in the end, it only sort of benefits themselves to get more people interested in and, and submitting cards to them. So first thing that we need to sort of address is the name again, tree frog grading. It's a little bit out there. It's a little bit different, um, which, you know, not against. And I'm, like I said, I messaged him and I said, what's the inspiration behind the name? And I'm going to tell you what they said word for word, because I think it's quite, it's, it, it is important because it's a big part of what they do. So they said the inspiration was due to our contribution to the rainforest preservation and also allowed us to use an animal within the logo that could co correlate with the colours we chose for the grades. Um, another aspect is that the business was formed by former Royal Marines, which is a sort of military service in the United Kingdom. And the frog is the mascot for the amphibious soldiers because the Royal Marines are the sort of special part of the Navy that they do all their sort of service by boat um so hats off to them you know utmost respect to to anyone that serves for for the country and put their lives at danger so all of us can can do what we do so massive respect for that and this is sort of what they go into there um like you said they said about the rainforests and what they do is for every submission they donate five percent of all their profits to the World Land Trust, contributing to the positive future of the world's rainforest. So that's where that correlation is there. Um, and it's like I said, it's created by former military personnel and Pokemon enthusiasts. And we strive to bring the community an integral and professional service. Now, I, I did speak to these guys today. Um, I don't normally do it, um, but I thought I had to sort of clear up the name and they do seem like real cool guys. Um, so, yeah. They also say, we understand the sentimental and financial value of your cards, and that's why we cover submissions throughout the process with our bespoke collector's insurance. So they have got their own insurance, which is very good. It's what we like to hear. They grade in their clean, dust-free hub. They use a commercial-grade extraction to eliminate dust from their process. They encapsulate cards using ultrasonic welding techniques. I think that's what most people do. And then we offer a fully tracked delivery and insurance cover whilst your submissions are in transit. So I'm very intrigued to see what um, the cost of that is. Yep. Um, but this is their website. I sort of went off on a tangent there, but this is their website. So we've got the logo here and then there's different color ones here, which color correlate to the grades. Um, and we're currently only grading in Pokemon cards. Now, it, I think... For companies like this to work, I think eventually they do need to go into other TCGs. I think if you're only focusing on Pokemon. It limits your um, your market. It limits, limits your market and who's willing to subscribe to you because there's a lot of TCGs out there. So 
looking into the grades. So we've got TFG grades. A unique TFG grading system is designed to eliminate grading discrepancies to give a true score of your card against the four main criteria. Cards that score an average of 9.5 or above are certified with the respective Bravo 9, Alpha 10 grades, earning the prestigious blue and pink frogs, which they're sort of military language. Um, the Alpha 10 is the most prestigious grade, supported to cards that meet the highest possible standards. Um, a card must score 10 across centering corners, edges, and surface to be certified as pink frog Alpha 10. Uh, Bravo 10 is the elite blue frog to card scoring an average of 9.5 to 9.9. .9. I like that, that it's not just, you know, perfect or, yeah. or not. There's, there's different ones. And then the TFG green frog is given to authentic cards from grades nine and below. Uh, the TFG frog bears the same holophile design as our elite grade. So what happens if it's a 9.3, for example? I reckon that could be because it does mention the Bravo 9. I reckon if it's between 9 and 9.5, it could be the Bravo 9. Or do you reckon yes. that was a typo and it was supposed to be a respective Bravo 10 or Alpha 10 grades? I think it might be a typo, but we could be wrong. Yep. We could be wrong. So, can I need to do what you did last time and zoom in? So, it's a little bit pixelated. That's my fault. But this is the label, and I'm guessing these are all nines and below as they're all the green um, frog. I'm hoping we get to see some better images. So grading services, we'll look at that last. So FAQs, how should I package my card for submission? We leave it to our customer's discretion how you send your cards. All we ask is that the package shows the corresponding order reference number. Adam, I know you're a fan of forgetting to do this. Um, this will enable us to identify your card against your submission and manifest form. Please also add any social media handles so we can tag you in our posts. Please note that any packaging sent with cards will be discarded and recycled where possible. Uh, how are your cards graded? Uh, our cards are graded using our unique TFG system. You can check out how we grade and score our cards here. We'll do that just after we've gone through the FAQs. Dust-free environment, take extreme care and measures to handle your submissions. Uh, ultrasonic welding techniques and time-proof protection with the use of heat. How do they contact us? Uh, Facebook Messenger. If you submit a card that's not authentic, they will send it back. And if you don't want your cards to be featured on their social media profile, um, let them know. That's what that is. So let's take a look at their grading scale. So this is TFG's grading standards. And what we'll do, we will put a link to this down in the description below so you can have, have a look at it and you know have a read for it yourself because it is quite in-depth. But we'll just go over sort of the base, the base of it. So tree frog grading sets out the standards that are used by all graders to regulate the scoring against the form blah, four main criteria and the overall grade given. These standards have been constructed in a way to remove subjectivity from grades and define unbiased awarding to TCG cards. On our eyes on policy allows any uncertainty to be verified and supported by a second grader, ensuring that the fairest and most relevant score is given. So the criteria is centering. Um, centering defines the relatively the borders of the card with each other. TFG calculates the ratio between the two worst opposing borders of a card. For example, top to bottom or left to right. A perfect ratio would be 50-50, scoring a 10. TFG does not grade cards with OC for high grading cards that would otherwise be saved on a high score due to a poor border. And then you've got your... 10s, 9.5s, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So they have got um, 0.5 subgrades as well. And then it says, you know, it goes 50, 50, 55, 45, um, and then 70, 30 on the back. And, you know, it goes down in from 10 to, to 1. Corners, when grading against corners, TFG grades are looking for four sharp, clean and prominent corners. Uh, rounded corners and imperfections on one or more corners will result in lower grades. Now, my understanding, and I could be wrong here, is that you want your corners to be round. Like, if you look at a card the corners around and I thought if your corners were sharp that's what put your corners down I could be wrong I think um, possibly I think I don't think they're meaning it as a 
uh, like as a, like a point. I think it. I think that it's just the word they're using. You know, as like a shot. Like I don't clean know. cut. Yeah, I think that's the word. Because like, if you look, like if we actually look down at the thingy, the um, scoring system. I'm yeah. not sure. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. We'll keep an eye on it. But 10 is four perfectly sharp, clean corners. Um, sharp corners to naked eyes, slight perfection to magnification, and four sharp corners, very slightly corner where to no more than one corner under intense scrutiny. And then it goes down in ones to one. Edges. The edges of a card are important aspects of a card's overall grade. Mint edges should be smooth with no chipping. Full intent of in colour. Increase of chipping, layering, and discolouring will result in a lower score. TFG understands that the printing process of some older cards may result in very minor chipping, and all this is considered on grading. So I'm guessing what that means is if it's a known flaw within a slight print run, I'm guessing, yeah. they will take that into consideration. Um, 10 is mint edges, 9.5 is mint to naked eye, um, and 9 is mint to naked eye, minimal unobtrusive chipping on borders. And then we have surface. Uh, TFG we grade the surfaces of a card under both natural and LED light. Alongside visual inspection, we enforce the process with high magnification optics to inspect the surface of conditions of the cards. A 10 is sharp focus and full original gloss. No marks or staining and no metallic print lines. 9.5 is sharp focus and full original gloss, no staining. Slight print imperfection um, if it doesn't impair the overall appeal of the card. Now, I'm interested to see what yours gets, Adam, because I know what you're sending off. Yes, which we will and get into. And... Cause it's, a, it's, a, it's a strange it's a strange one. one. Um, overall grades. Uh, overall grades are given as a meaning of average against... Yeah. Overall grades are given as a mean average against the four criteria. Their averages and their associated grades are as follows. So a grade one is an average one to 1.9, two to 2.9, and then it works all the way up. So grade nine is an average nine to nine point four nine. So they have got a, a spelling um, error on, on their main page. Yep. A Bravo ten average nine point five to nine point nine, and an Alpha ten is an average of ten. So a perfect card. That's what you want to try and get. And yeah, so that is their grading scale, guys. I know a lot of you have been saying we need to see the grading scales. Well, this company has written it out for you in black and white. And like I said this will be in the description down below so go and head it out and read it all for yourself before you send a card off so let's get back to the website have a look at the submission costs and anything else that they've got on there they haven't got any reviews yet so we're hopefully we are the first so make sure you are subscribed to see the returns of this um, and then inventory so check out the authenticity of your card with on our inventory, check out the authenticity of your card with on within our inventory. Type in your card serial number to see the details below. So, I believe they sent you a, uh, a test in there. You. Yeah, so we'll go with number one, which was the Charizard. There we go. So this is the slab, and we can see serial number one, grade six for the Charizard. Um, You've got your hollow frog there, your grade there, and then your base set shadowless, uh, Charizard hollow. For, at least they're not using their first edition. Yep. Shadowless Charizard, because that is a gripe of mine. Four of 102, centering 9.5, corner six, surface six, edges five, serial number 0001. So let's put method to the madness. If we go 9.5 plus six, plus six, plus five. Divided by four, which equals 6.625. So that is how they're grading it. So because it got a 6.625, it's in that category of 6 to 6.9, and that's where it's got a grade 6. Now, let's have a quick look at the last card they've graded. So they've only graded 24. Well, have they? There we go. Ah, the only, it's my fault. I'm a star, legendary collection, reverse foil. Um, can't really get that. 
picture to to focus don't know why um so they've graded 25 cards that they've updated so far um so how much does it cost what's the submission process um if we go have we missed anything i don't think we've missed anything no uh true for grading make sure you if you are wanting to go ahead with these guys to join their mailing list which on the home screen drop your email in find out all the uh the latest stuff from them yeah grading services so two grading services okay so we've got an express grading service at 37 pound 99 and a standard grading service at 14.99 now how long does it take so you get a bulk saving discount so if you do 10 to 49 cards you get five percent 50 to 100 cards you get 10 percent um and you can just select your cards add them to carts uh with our express service we will grade and return your card within two weeks mm. i want that to be sooner for that amount of money if i'm honest yep i think if you're charging upwards of 30 quid it needs to be max a week my eyes an absolute maximum three to five days working days it needs to be for that sort of cost um I know there's companies that charge more for three-day service, and I know there's companies that charge less for like a, a three-day service. So um, the price I'm okay with, but not for that turnaround time yep. in my eyes. Um, that's just my opinion. And then standard grading service, $14.99. Uh, same, 5 and 10% discount, $14.99. Uh, with our standard service, we'll grade and return your cards within eight weeks. Now, that is um, subjectory, and at the minute, it's a lot less than that. It's sort of two to three weeks. Um, but that is, I'm guessing, once they're up and running and getting more submissions. But um, they get 5%, they're giving 5% of profits to um, the rainforests. But yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit higher than what I was expecting, but it's not. So at the end of the world, we see companies trying to charge £20, £22 for one card submission. Yeah. So, you know, it's in the middle. We'll call it it's in the middle. I think it's of a, the, it's of, a fair, fair price, I'd say. It's a fair price, not cheap. It's not the most expensive. Um, so let's add a card. Uh, view cards. Right, let us just enter our information, guys. We'll get these cards submitted. If there is anything important um, that's not just us putting our details in, we will sort of bring it back. Um, but let us add our information, guys, and we shall be right back. Yep. So we've just put in our details for making the purchase. Obviously, we don't want to be giving away as a bank card and stuff. So we've, we've just cut all that out. But after you have entered in your, your card details and your shipping and you've paid for the... Um, your submission it does bring you to this page where you have to fill in your card of what you are sending in so as you can see i'm sending a ex hidden legends dark celebrity number four of 101 it does show you up here the example of uh, how to put your cards in so before we move on to the next part i'm just going to stop sharing my screen and we're going to have a little, quick look at the cards we're going to send as we did mention earlier that mine is a bit of a curveball with the uh, the surfacing so while we're already talking about the card i've sent we will have a quick look so i am sending this beauty dark cell a bit so take it out of the uh sleeve i've got quite sweaty hands at the minute the centering is great but if you can see slightly it looks like it has a crease but the weird part is, is there's no crease on the back. So I don't know if it's some sort of like air bubble or if it was a printing issue. But that, apart from that, this card could have a chance of high grade. So a little curveball for you there, uh, DFG. Let's see it. Let's see what you, what you throw my way. So Ben. What card have you decided to send? 
So since this company lets you send Japanese cards off, um, I'm going to be sending off my Sylvian V Max. Um, it's already packaged up, ready to go because I was going to send it to a different company, but they don't let you send Japanese cards. Um, the car's really good condition, you know, no whitening. Centering's good on the back. Centering's slightly off, I think, um, on the front from left to right. You can see it a little bit there. Um, top to bottom, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to be sending this off. I really like this card. Um, so hopefully it gets, gets something quite high. So we've just finished uh, putting in our orders. Uh, everything's good to go. We just needs packaging and sending. So what we're going to do is have a little discussion about what we think to this company as a whole. What are your first thoughts of these guys? Yeah, I think their their website set up really well. Every, all the information's on there that you need. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it, the name and logo is different, but it's funky. It's, you know, it's it's unique. Um, I'm guessing they haven't. I'm guessing the slabs are sort of your standard PSA style. Um, I'd like to see the label in person before I make a judgment on that. Um, but their their processes and everything seem seem spot on. To be fair, yep. um, it'd be interesting to see how they grade them and, and stuff like that, and and what it's like when it's back. But hopefully, it's not too long before we've got them here and sort of doing the returns video. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's like we, we do get excited when these uh, these new companies come up, and they all have their own different ways of grading they have the different slabs different types of labels different the different little processes but i think what one of the great things about these guys is obviously the the donations i think great work for that and i can't like applaud you enough for it i think it's brilliant that you're doing that and i hope this all goes well for you but we're gonna wrap it up now so if you have enjoyed this type of video like i said at the beginning make sure you are subscribed to the channel and the bell for notification so you never miss one of our uploads thank you ben for for joining me on a on another UK grading video, as like I said at the beginning, we do all of these. Um, I'm sure there's more to come as well. Yes, yes, there will be. I can, uh, I can assure you, there's going to be more to come. So, on that note, once again, thank you for coming around and watching this video. We'll see you next week. See you later, guys. Take care. Jobs are good.